Okay, welcome to the second tutorial for um, Visual Basic with C++ and creating a web browser. Today I'm going to be teaching you the basic code for a web browser. Okay, um, once again the download page is microsoft.com slash express slash download. This was all covered in a previous tutorial and just download that and you're ready. Now, open up, well I already have a project open and ready, hold on, um, this is the project we were working on in the last tutorial. Now, I'm going to be teaching you how to put the code in for your go button and your favorites. Okay, now, first of all, the go button is to search what is in this box or not search to go to the URL that is in this box so double click the go button and right here on all of your code don't mind all that oh, come on ah okay um don't mind any of that, that's all the other ones, but um, right here, in between here is going to be where you put your code, and um, see, button one, on cl um, button one click, and this, right here is where you're going to be focusing on. Now, let's put in web browser one, which is telling us the web browser one, which is this, the thing that display the displays the web, web browser one dot navigate so when you navig it navigates to a different page and then text text box one which is our text box that we put the URL in dot text which is the text that is in that text box so the web browser one will navigate to what is in text box one the text that is in text box one and now let's go ahead and test that out And now, hold on, it's loading. Now, whenever you put in something like YouTube.com, you press go, it takes you to YouTube.com. And then you can search the site. Um, and there's my account, my video page. See? Now, putting it in for the favorites. On a drop down favorite, it's a little different, but for the favorites, double click on the favorites, do web browser one, navigate, and then all you simply change is the name, which is you change it to tool strip button one. which is what it's calling this time to do since you're clicking on the tool strip button one and then text close off the parentheses and whenever you type in the coding when you type something wrong like when you misspell something what'll happen is it'll show blue and that means you did something wrong in the coding and it'll give you suggestions and see you just have to change it to be you and then it'll go away and now we can test that out and for the button one I have my URL as Whoopi Land which is another site I like so let's test that out it's loading when you click that oh I put in a bad link oh messages that's not a okay let's test it again wait for it to load and click that and it takes you to the site see and all you have to do is just change all of your favorites to those so what you can do is you can just go in here copy this do that 
paste it, change this to 2, because you're now working with button 2, paste it, change it to 3, now you're working with 3, and now for this, this is a little different, um, well it's not much different, it's the same thing, but it's going to include, instead of a, wait, uh, instead of a tool strip button, it's going, uh, it's going to be this tool strip menu item. And you just take that and then paste it over the tool strip button instead. And then whenever you go and do test, now whenever you do this, it'll take you to that. These haven't been rigged up yet. So now all you have to do is. that, double click on that, paste, instead of this, you have new grounds, tool strip up menu item, copy, paste it right in here, and there's your next one, and now for the last one, copy, paste, change this to YouTube side the guys menu item and there you have it let's debug and try it out now for our menu items we have all of these will now work new grounds new grounds is a really slow site unfortunately Now, YouTube, we already have that in another button, so, oh, what's going on, okay, there. there's my channel, and then all of these also work now, oh, it's, that must be a broken link, that's a good link, this one isn't, apparently, let me go look on that, uh. yep, text tool strip button one it needs to be changed to something else like addicting games .com. there we go do that or try now let's debug it I hate the loading okay and try it out addicting games And we see the addicting games website and we can go to the different games. Ah, that's a pop up game. I hate those. Close. Ah, bad pop up. Okay. Okay. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. Um. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add icons for your buttons. So on this, you can have a icon right here instead of that one. And then these, you can have icons instead of the default system drawing icon. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and signing off.